Well, TCG enthusiasts, we are back with another testing. And as I said in the last one, this deck is inspired by the progression series that Simo and Nim Nim are doing. Simo, at the time of, I think, their releasement of, of course, uh, the invoke stuff, all those like fusion cards, like the new support for Fluffles, the Predator Plant stuff, and all that, he played, of course, invoked Chaos Max. Now, I grew. Now, I played Yu Gi Oh! when Chaos Max was out. He, he's an annoying card to out altogether. But Simo, of course, inspired me to put the Invoke engine with Chaos Max and try them both out together. So let's do the card by card. We got Triple Alistair, uh, Triple Alternative, Triple Blue Eyes, Double Jet. I am running the Horus engine here, so I have Triple MST, Triple, uh, oh, no, Double uh, Donum Tooth, One Hoppy, and One. Uh, um, Quibeshmith. All right, never probably gonna say that name again. But then I have Triple Chaos Max, the namesake of the deck. If you'd never have seen a Chaos Max, I think you must be living under rocks. But anyways, cannot be tar- Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, um, it does and piercing as well. So, it's just one hell of a card to try to get through. For the hand transfer drum, we're running Triple Ash, Triple Droll. For our spells, we have Triple Meltdown. Uh, this just gets us to Alistair and also protects all of our um, Fusion Summons as well. Basically, our opponent can't interrupt them in any way. We have Triple King Sarcophagus, Triple Chaos Form, Triple Advanced Ritual Art, Double Invocation. You only ever need to never play three. It cycles itself for the Alistairs. And then finally, Trample, Infinite, and Permanent. I could definitely see you cutting maybe a Chaos Form, running double Chaos Form, a uh, double Ritual, triple Ritual Art. I could definitely see that. For the extra, I'm running two, double Mechaba, one uh, Agodius, one Galga, one Purgatorio. I am running one Coyotus because he also um, cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this card, and he attacks in defense position, so he's a super heavy samurai. So basically a Chaos Max attacks and defense position. Because we are running the MST package, or the Horus package, I'm running Double Den Girsu, one Coach King, Giant Trainer, one number 38, one number 97. Uh, we do have the package to kind of win the game, if so be. Uh, one number 90, one Zombie Vampire, and one number 62. For the side, Triple Effect Baylor. Triple Nibiru. I have the preparations of rights in the side because typically if we burn out all the MST stuff, we're perfectly fine like running most out most of the deck. I mean, if you push all the MST stuff out of your out of your deck all together, um, it's pretty much just cleaned out. Again, we can even search out with Magical Meltdown all the necessary cards. So if we in game two and three feel like we need to be searching out our advanced ritual art or our chaos form and our uh, chaos max, then so be it. Or I guess in this case, I just remembered chaos max is actually an eight star monster. Two, four, two, four, six, eight. So he can't be searched out with preparations of rights, but this will at least cycle out one of the two ritual spells. So. We can do it. I have in the side just because, again, we'll be able to cycle a good amount of cards. Again, even going into, like, Zombie Vampire cycles another set of cards as well. So, overall, we're cycling a lot of cards out of this deck. We should be able to see our Chaos Max engine without this. And then, finally, Triple Evenly because going second, game two and three, this is just a really good strong card. And if we need to go first, Psalm Judgment is in here because, unlike Strike, we're at least pay 1500 We must pay 1500 Solemn Judgment, we can pay even if we have 50. Anyways, that is the deck. Let's take it to a best two out of three and see how well we do. All right, here we go. I believe we want to go first with this because I'd like to try to set up Chaos Max, not mentioning we are running the MSD engine. Or the Horus engine. Well, that was actually... Wow, this is actually... All right. Well, we are playing the good old... The man myths, the legends themselves. We have our course, Labyrinth. I finally got to the word. They welcome. 
everybody. It's a big welcome. Uh, we'll trigger Alistair. Get it in vacation. The hilarious part is we do trap. But I think Kalyuga says that each player can attempt to activate one monster effect per turn. Okay. Um, I could go light to go into Invoked Mechaba so I can negate this trap card next turn. Anyways, let's just do this. Summon a Chaos Max, pitch a Blue Eyes. We'll put the Max into attack because I absolutely have no no uh, ability to do anything else. We'll do this. But we could do the Kaluga that does get the stove out of his graveyard. He can only activate one monster effect per turn, so I think honestly that's... Put the Kaluga there. We can then trigger Invocation to spin back Alistair to our hand. No, we will not use Alistair's buffing effect on our guy. Um, He's already going to be able to trigger this. I'll put it here just because that does mean... Anyways, we'll end the turn there. No, we're not triggering any fast effects. Alright. I don't know how this deck outs this Chaos Max, but go, go right ahead and attempt it. All right, he's gonna go big welcome. It's a big welcome, everybody. Hello there. Now, my guess would be this would be the mommy. This is probably gonna be Lady Labyrinth. What's the other one? Well, only one, only one monster can attempt to activate while Kaluga's up. So that's gonna be his only trigger. Each player can only attempt to activate one monster effect per turn. So what, you're gonna do stovey? Now the problem is I don't have another dark in here, so I can't just spill out another stovey out of his, uh, his hand. So what, you set, but you can only activate one monster effect per turn. And unfortunately, I believe you've already used the stove this turn. So that does remove that. No, I wish I had more trap cards in this deck. Uh, Mechalo would be pretty nice against this. I don't know how uh, he's going to get through this, so it is Lady, but you have to bounce Lady back. You can't activate Lady again because you already did the stove. Yeah, you already triggered stove. How uh, are uh, you guys doing it for us because he can only activate one guy per turn? Well, that does give us another Alistair. Also protects all of our, um, our opponent. But each time a monster effect is activated, place one spell stone counter on this card, max two. While this card has two spell counter counters, the player can activate the effects of face-up monsters on the field. Also, the effects of face-up monsters on the field are negated. Once per turn during the end phase of this card has any spell stone, remove it. That's a little weird, the fact that you'd have to get the two active. Each time a monster effect is activated, ew. Which means Alistair, uh, he does get to bring the mommy out. The problem is it just gets rid of itself after one turn. Interesting tech option for a turn. I mean, it's kind of stopping me from not doing anything. All right, well, this is now welcome. Interesting has us decide to go, um, now if he attempts to trigger a response. Every time Monster Effect is activated, place a spell counter on it. Alright, so that will activate this. Big Welcome is triggering to Reese or send Kaluga. So Kaluga's gone. Okay, bye bye Kaluga. No, you're not triggering. Uh, yes, you can get set a spell card. Let's see. Um, 
Antifit the effects of face of monsters on the field. Also, the effects of face of monsters on the field are negated. Okay, so... I can't do much against that epidemic. Trap. Okay, so everything is negated right now. This gets disappears on his turn. This column is negated, and he can't trigger this spell card. Or this trap card. Uh, I guess I'll go Magical Meltdown. I guess I'll get another Alistair to my hand. Yes, because apparently that works. The Black Goat laughs. During Declare one monster card named this card near play because special summon monsters with the original name. Uh, how does that triggering, sir? That's not going... You can activate that, but it's not going to resolve. I don't know if it did anything, but I wasn't. Special summon the monsters which... Uh, declare one monster name. Either play a special summon monster with the name. Original. Well, I don't know why I didn't... Oh, I guess because I must have not triggered or added. I don't know. Magic card for declare one monster named this turn. The play can activate the effects of monsters on the field. Which name you can only use. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. Let's go battle. Yes, battle. Kill that off. I do pierce. Oh, wait, no, I lost my pierce effect, right? Because I'm negated. Uh, we go to end phase. That nukes. Oh, wait, this just removes its spell counter? Its counters? During the end phase, if this card is in spell. Oh, this is continuously staying on the board. Okay. Well, we need an alternative then. Um, the problem is I still don't know how he acts. Oh, it's Chaos Max. Because right now, unless he gets two counters on this thing, he can't do much against me. Set welcome back again. Trigger welcome. The problem is once he gets the two, um, this trap card was epidemic, but that only goes after my spell and traps. So cuckoo clock so that you can trigger welcome. The problem is now we're all out of effects. So no matter what you summon, um, just gets negated. And I know for a fact this card can't do anything against a Chaos Max because it doesn't go after monsters. Yes, the Aries, the Labyrinth Butler has arrived, everybody. And now you're going to declare spell cards, my guess would be. Yep. So that does nuke off my thing. You know I now have an alternative and I have an Alistair the Evoker. Um, as of right now, nothing else is activating, son. You can't even do Stovey because, again, you're locked under this. So I, it's kind of odd. The fact of the matter is that this is hurting him more than I think he realizes it. Uh, why are you doing that now? Why would you wait next turn and declare that an Alistair? But you manage this card, declare, declare one card name. This turn, yeah, this turn. Maybe next time let's read our cards a little bit there, Professor. Uh, you just basically threw this card out for nothing. I guess you can Link Summon, but again, your Link Summon monster has its effects negated. Yeah, about to say that, that that that's a win. All right, he's gonna go first. This deck has like no, doesn't really grab anything. So honestly, the draws can go for effect veilers. Um, he is going to be going first here. So I, I think I'm gonna take out the chaos form if I'm being honest, and put in evenly match. I want all three of my effect veilers. All right, that's that's all we're gonna do. Okay. Oh, I was a little confused there. I know for a fact that card he had was hurting him more than I think he thought it would help him. Because there's like nothing he was doing. And I mean, even if I don't summon any monsters and negate my own effects, what are you going to do? I punch over. Stovey's your only option at that point. Okay, two cards to do anything. I got the MSD, which is nice because I can send the jet to the graveyard because I don't need jet in hand. Jet, Jet's nice also because the most hilarious part is that he actually... Let's, uh, no. 
Oh, you got a call by the grave, son? He does have the call by the grave. I should have done the imperm first. If that's the only card, if that's the way you're starting your game, fine by me. Cross out Designator is the only way you stop this now. So, it sucks I lost the effect Baylor, but I still keep him from going to anything. Now, again, if we get Chaos Max here, by all possibilities, we just go Advanced Ritual Art, summon a Chaos Max, and we got a Chaos Max automatically. Now, again, Jet's actually pretty fun. It's just whenever a card is destroyed on my side of the field, I just get, okay, I just get to bring him back. <laughs> All right, well, welcome is now here. It's time to welcome in the Labyrinth monsters, everybody. Welcome them. Welcome them with open arms, everybody. Open arms. It's time to welcome the knight into the into the labyrinth of sexy ladies and a sexy guy. Hey, I will not judge if you definitely want to bang the butler. I will bang the other, the two maids and the two mothers. That's that's who I want to bang. I'm the knight coming in with my mighty sword. That may or may not be an into window of something. All right. I do still like the labyrinth archetype. I think it's a really cool archetype. Um, just being a trap-based archetype, I think it has a lot of uses. Now, is it good in the modern day of Yu-Gi-Oh, where Snake Eyes or Fiend Sniffs Snake Eyes now is ruling the format? I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, son. You're definitely not getting any cards today. Uh, that better be a cross out designator. Last time, son, you triggered that, it hurts you. Uh, we'll send the Jets. Get an MSD. Draw a card. I was kind of hoping we'd get our hands on... Uh, we can send this guy. And then we can send this guy. I do not want to send the Vance Ritual Art, so we will just summon two dudes. Uh, or three dudes, I guess. We could just smash face here, funny enough. You only gain... It's 1,000 attack events for each horse monster you control. I have to be cautious... Because Dingusu is about to come out. And then Dingusu triggers his effect, but that gets like another counter. You only go after spells. Ugh, not really much. Let's just uh, bring out this guy. And let's just go to battle. Uh, we will swing the 25 into the defense position monster. Oh, right. I totally forget. This thing has a secondary effect. You can only use each effect as King Carfagus. If a horde monster battles, you can send the opponent's monster to the graveyard. Uh, I kind of just don't really care. I thought it'd send any card. But yeah, it, it actually has a secondary effect other than pitching cards into the graveyard. Uh, no, I do want actually want to punch in the face and deal damage. All right. Uh, we will just go to end phase there. I really, again, I don't really have a desire to summon another monster and get two things in the gate. Again, all my XYZs can't do anything under that. The most hilarious part is that we could go, uh, next turn go into number 97 and then go into, uh, Dublion. I honestly don't know how you're winning, my friend. Um, I have three guys on the board. You can set a welcome. I guess that, I guess at that next turn, that does get you the ability to trigger in response to like negating the activation. It's hilarious. We drew the blue eyes. Can't do much about it. Uh, yeah, uh, we were winning that. All right, all right, wins a win. All right. Well, I think we semi bricked with this deck, but honestly. It's a lot of fun. Honestly, I think it was a lot of fun. I think maybe if I was to look back at it, might be just taking out the chaos form altogether, cut it back down to like 40 cards and then keeping like the advanced ritual arts, maybe even kind of like the chaos max, like a two of, I think three of is still really nice just because you need to see it. Maybe cutting like an alternative, like as a, like a two of, heck, maybe even making alternative like a three of, or maybe even just making Jet a one of, because that's all you really need. So like taking out Chaos Form, just going on Advanced Ritual Art, because if you get Chaos Max, I don't care if I get a Blue Eyes White Dragon, I just pitch it at the graveyard for all of this. And then as long as I draw into Chaos Max, that's all I care about, Advanced Ritual Art, bring Chaos Max. I think cutting out the Chaos Form 
and cutting down a jet dragon i think is really really good again tree preparations are right i think probably needs to go out of the side i think there's things i could do to make this deck much better overall it performed pretty well against i think a meta relevant deck in labyrinth though while well undercut by the fact that uh, fiend sip snake eyes is the deck to play currently in the format right now and i honestly think that power stone was kind of um messing him up i don't know why you played that card i would have taken it out game two altogether because it was definitely messing him up with his effects and it didn't help all the horus monsters were now just sitting there and i was never going to do anything with them yes do kill them uh, they'll just keep resurrecting them so as long as i keep the sarcophagus um i mean if we saw chaos max we had it right then there summon but yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What can I do to make this deck better? What are your thoughts on this deck? Do you think it's time to start officially thinking about Blue Eyes? Besides the fact that we did get new Blue Eyes support, um, just announced. Maybe it's time to wait for that support to come out and then see if Blue Eyes is still good. It probably won't be, knowing, knowing the DM staple deck. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments on the deck, the gameplay, how I can make this deck better. What would you change out? What would you add? All of that. And while you're commenting, do make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you can know five my videos go live for you. I'm going to see you here next time on Mama Dragons TCG. Mm -hmm.